Well, hopefully if you are traveling, you have good weather wherever you're going here. We're going to have pretty good weather. Well, we are. We have a slight chance for a shower or two for 4th of July, but that's not going to amount to much. It's what's down the road that should amount to a little bit more. 78 degrees overnight tonight, southeast wind 10 to 15. Tomorrow's a work day, right? <laughs> working in the yard, uh, working in the house, whatever. If you are outside doing your thing, make sure that you have plenty of bottled water. Take those uh, frequent uh, shade breaks and all that. Make sure the pets have shade and clean water. You know the drill. Uh, upwards of 98 to 99 degrees and the heat index even higher. Southeast winds will be about 15 to 20, gusting to 25. So around these parts, we just call that plain old gusty, a bit gusty and choppy on the bay by afternoon. So overall, if you want to go do some fishing, that's a good opportunity. Just lots of sunblock too. And I don't like that stuff, <laughs> but you have to wear it if you're going to be out on the water like that. Um, yeah, your heat index is just going to be continuing to uh, be, you know, uh, oppressively hot, but not as bad as it was the last couple of weeks. You know, we were looking at, you know, 115, 120 in some parts of the valley the last couple of weeks uh, on an almost daily basis. So thankfully, it's a little bit less, taking a scald off it, but it's still a problem if you're going to be outdoors working or playing. 98 on Sunday, feeling like 112 and gusting winds south southeast around 20 to 25 miles an hour. Here's a good relief. 86 degree air temperature, 79 degree water temperature. South Padre Island is definitely the great escape. Uh, rip current risk will be elevated. Swim with a friend. Uh, now, future cast and what's going on next week. All right, Monday and Tuesday. We're going to see, because that area of high pressure that was sitting on us for a couple of weeks is now sliding off to the southeastern U.S., we're going to see the natural order of things. And that is that around the valley this time of year, we get a, the sea breeze blows in in the afternoon off the water, and it helps to kick up a few showers of thunder showers, you know, stuff like that. That's the kind of thing we're going to see Monday and again on Tuesday. But we're going to watch for upper level low pressure to come off the Yucatan and to sort of just set up shop along the coast of Mexico. That's going to in increase the chance for rain by Wednesday. Now, it'll certainly increase it to our south near Tampico and such, down toward Veracruz. But up, even up this far north, we'll have an increased chance for showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder and whatnot, on in through Wednesday, Thursday, and even into Friday because of the position of that upper level low. Let's call that an enhanced rain opportunity. It's not going to be a deluge, no, no, no. But it will be an enhanced opportunity, and I see a lot of yards out there that need it for the second half of this upcoming week. Tropical weather, well, that forecast remains very busy with uh, Beatrice and Adrian as hurricanes moving west of Mexico there, one off into the open water and the other along the coast. And you can see what was in the western Atlantic is now just fizzling. But Beatrice is continuing as a Category 1 storm and is forecast to move over the southern tip of the Baja and then move out over open water. Seven-day forecast takes you right through with the weekend, hot, humid, gusty. We got that. And then next week, we're looking at that increased chance for showers, especially the second half of the week. If you ask me, the forecast for uh, Independence Day looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, too. We're very excited to have a great 4th of July. You and I will be here together. That's right. We'll be working. Yeah, we'll be here. And Blake is actually going to be here, too, I believe. But we're going to check in with him first with a look ahead at sports. Blake.